In today's video, I'll be showing you guys all the best dunks and animations on NBA 2K25. Now, dunking isn't its absolute strongest this year, but it's still very important to have the best dunk packages on in the game. And I'll show you guys how to trigger each dunk package every single time you try. So let's say I have a certain dunk package on. I can get that dunk package anytime I try from the way I hold my analog stick. And that is what I'll be showing you guys in this video. I'll be showing the best dunk packages for different builds, whether you're a point guard that doesn't have that high of a dunk rating or you're a slasher with a 99 dunk. I'll have the best dunk packages for you in this video and show you how to get the one that you want every single time. If you guys could do me a favor and drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to help out the channel, I'd appreciate that but let's get into the best dunks and animations on nba 2k25 so for the first dunk packages i'm going to show you guys is for a point guard as you guys can see i'm six foot three but these dunks you can put on basically any build on this one i'll have an 89 driving dunk and a 78 vertical as my attribute so what you're going to want to do is come over to your my player and go to animations then come over to your dunk style creator as you guys can see i only have one equipped it is called demi let me show you guys the dunk packages we're going to start off with the one foot moving dunk and I only have two regular dunks equipped. Of course, I have contact dunks. We'll get into that. But the athletic one-handers off one. This dunk package is very good when you get around your defender on a certain side and you want to stay on that side so that the center can't drop or it just gets really good and fast dunk packages. Let me show you guys what this dunk looks like in game. I'll explain exactly when I want to use this. But as you guys can see how fast it is. And even if the center helps, he basically has no chance to block it. You just want to get around them and you get the easy one hand. So yeah, as you can see, this dunk is very, very good, very fast, consistent, most most of the dunks in this package are very fast. I wouldn't recommend putting any of these on. I know I don't have all of them unlocked, but you guys will see in the one afterwards, I do get the straight arm tomahawks. I'll show you that after. If you can unlock this, which it's very expensive, put it on but i would assume most builds can't and then the other one foot moving dunk is right here the baseline reverses this is just so if you go baseline you can end up getting a reverse dunk every single time i'll show you guys how to do these dunks in the my core like i'll show you how to get the certain the exact dunk package that you want every single time you try but yeah anytime you go baseline you can get these and they are very consistent these have always been one of the strongest dunks in 2k and then lastly we have the pro contact dunks off one as you guys can see 89 driving dunk 78 vertical not that expensive but unless you really want contact dunk you're probably not going to have this but these are very good any contact dunk you can equip you usually want to and then as you guys can see i don't have any two foot moving dunks on these are bait you guys are going to see look i'll just hover over a few of them you don't want to put two foot moving dunks on look at my player on basically every single one of them how he has to stop and then lift off of two feet it's just not worth it like your my player is very slow with going up so the only two foot moving dunks i have equipped are the contact dunks the pro and the small two foot moving dunks there's a reason why these are way cheaper than the one foot because the two foot moving dunks just lifting your my player off of two feet is way less I don't want to say consistent, but it's just not as good as obviously lifting off of one foot. For standing dunks, I do have both of these equipped. It's 2K25. These standing dunks, not these standing dunks, just standing dunks in general are extremely, extremely strong this year. You can run to the paint and literally just get a standing dunk every time, no matter your height. Well, I don't know about five nines, but like this build, I can literally, I'm 6'3", I can go to the paint and get a standing dunk anytime I want to. And then for the signature dunks, I only have one equipped, but there's one more that I would recommend you put on, but this is the main one right here, Malik Bunk. You see your player take off. This not only has good like two-handed safe dunks, which I'm going to show you guys, but it has really good one hand dunks really fast let me show you guys a clip of the malik monk dunk in game i'll explain more when i want to use this but as you see it's a very safe and fast two-handed dunk and then another dunk package that i heard is pretty good is anthony edwards i personally don't use it but i mean they're very fast i might try this out but i haven't tested it myself but i have heard good things about the anthony edwards dunk package and then for alley oops i have the pro elite reverse flashy and pro contact alley-oop dunk packages on i'm not gonna lie i very very rarely catch lobs on this build so i'm i can't really like speak to how good the alley-oop dunk packages are but these are the ones that i have equipped on this build nonetheless and next i'm going to show you guys what dunk packages i have on on the ultimate slasher build 
99 driving dunk and 90 vertical on this build let me show you guys my dunk packages so as you guys would assume i do get the straight arm tomahawks on this build which is the most expensive dunk package on the game and as you guys can see when i equip these straight arm tomahawks i ended up unequipping the athletic one handers off one so that every single time that i want to get a one-handed dunk i will get the straight arm tomahawk which if you guys remember 2k23 after they absolutely increased the price of it from your driving dunk it is one of the best dunk packages if not the best dunk package in the game you see how fast it is i'll show you guys how to trigger this as well as the athletic one every time and then just like the last build of course i have the baseline reverses off one on and then i set it on the last one any contact dunk you unlock you just want to equip i have the pro and i do have the elite contacts off one which you need a 99 driving dunk and a 90 vertical to unlock and for the two foot moving dunks same thing i don't have any equipped except for these two contact dunk packages i just don't think it's worth it to have any two foot moving dunks on even the ones that are super expensive like the one right here which is 90 driving dunk i just i don't think it's worth it i think you slow your player down by having to jump off two feet for the standing dunks of course i have the one hand and two hand under basket dunks i just think both of these having equipped if you can put both of these on for your standing dunks and then i don't actually have any signature dunks on this build but some ones that would be pretty good is lebron james scotty pippen and anthony edwards these are three very good dunk packages like i said i haven't tested anthony edwards but i've tested lebron and i've tested scotty pippen but the reason why i don't have them equipped is just because i can get the tomahawks off the straight arm tomahawks every single time if i wanted to so there's no point in me actually having these dunk packages equipped because it will make it so instead of me getting the straight arm tomahawk sometimes when i want to go one hand dunks it'll give me a lebron dunk and i would just rather the other dunk package and then for alley-oops as you can see i have every single alley-oop package the same as the last build except this time i can get elite contacts which i do have equipped all right, now that we're in the my court, let me give you guys a tutorial on how to get the exact dunk that you want every single time that you try. All right, so the first one I'm gonna show you guys is on my point guard, the athletic one-handers off one. This is just the best one-hand dunk unless you have a 95 dunk rating, which I assume most people don't. I don't even have that on my guard. Let me show you guys how to trigger this every single time you try. It's actually so simple, it's insane. All you have to do is if you wanna dunk it with your right hand, you hold your analog stick to the right while holding RT. It's literally that easy. Whatever hand you wanna dunk with is where you hold your right analog stick. If I wanna dunk with my left hand, I drive while holding RT, I go left with the left analog stick. And as you guys see, I get the one-handed dunk. But I'll show you guys one more time, and then I'll show you when I want to use it. As you guys can see, I'm going to the right, so I hold my right analog stick to the right, and I get a one-handed dunk. That one was the Malik Monk dunk package that I showed you. Let me show you guys the dunk package that I'm talking about right there. As you guys can see, you go to the right side of the rim, hold right on the right analog stick, right-handed dunk. Now, if I'm running on the left side, you see I cook them to the left. I like to go left-handed so that if they're helping out the right corner, they can't contest it. And this is what I'm talking about in-game. As you guys can see, I'm going to cook him to the right side and look at the center right now. There's no way he can block me and I go right on the right analog stick anytime I get around them to that side to get the easy one-handed dunk. So let's say this time I cook him to the left side. You guys can see I'm going to go around him to the left and right here is when I start holding left on the right analog stick because there's no way the center can get to me and you get that super fast one-handed dunk that there's no way the guard can block once again i get around him to the left side and i go left handed dunk so that the center cannot block me as you guys can see the best dunk animation you can get so next right here is the baseline reverses off one and this dunk package is actually really good i'm not gonna lie the baseline like when you do have the baseline it's very strong but when you iso you don't really do this that often because the center is in the corner but let me show you guys how to trigger this dunk every single time all right so to get this dunk obviously you have to be running to the baseline like this and you have to hold your analog stick towards the baseline so if I'm on the right side over here, I hold my right analog stick to the right because that's towards the baseline to get that dunk every single time. And then let's say you're on the left side, this time you wanna hold your left analog stick to the left to get the reverse dunk every time. So when you're running to the right side on the baseline, you hold your right analog stick and RT to the right. 
while you're going on the left side you'll hold your left analog stick and rt to the left and you'll get that one sometimes for some reason they count that as a baseline reverse but yeah right side right analog stick to the right easy reverse dunk it's really good when you have your opponent beat because that's literally an impossible dunk to block but like i said if the center is in the corner then it's kind of not the best dunk to actually do and then lastly are the malik monk dunk packages you'll see how i trigger this when i show you but these are really safe and fast dunks you'll also sometimes get one-handed dunks with this as you guys saw but you get two hand safe dunks let me show you guys how to trigger those so let's say your ice wing on the right side again and instead of going right you cook them to the middle i always hold up on my right analog stick to get a safe fast two-handed dunk like that rt and up on the right analog stick you should not be dunking with x you should be dunking with the analog stick at all times once again you cook them to the middle hold up to get a fast safe two-handed dunk and then same thing when you're on the left side let's say you cook them to the middle go straight up on the right analog stick for a fast and safe two-handed dunk and this is when i like to do those type of dunks as you see i cook them in the middle and whenever i get towards the middle like this i go straight up on my right analog stick and it gives me these safe but fast two-handed malik monk dunks i'll show you guys again instead of going left or right i cook them to the middle right about here i go with the safe but fast two-handed malik monk dunk and then this very last dunk that I'm about to show you guys right here. This is a one-handed Malik Monk dunk. As you guys can see, I went one hand and that's the Malik Monk dunk factor. Now I'm not against doing this right here. Like let's say you cook them to the middle, right? And then you wanna go left hand to keep it away from the center, but you'll get dunks like that. And I just think every time that you cook them towards the middle, you wanna do a two-handed dunk like this. Like you get to the middle, you wanna go a safe two-handed dunk. Every time you cook them to the right or the left, you want to go a dunk whatever ball hand you have it on like you have a left side do a left handed dunk like this it just makes it so it's the hardest thing for not only the person guarding you but the center that wants to help to actually block and contest your shot so i'll show you guys one more time the malik monk dunk package and why i use it you guys can see we cook them to the middle quick fast two-handed dunk now those athletic one-handers are really good but these straight arm tomahawks are literally that same exact dunk package but way faster and better. And you see how expensive it is, so I assume most of you guys don't have it, but let me show you guys what it looks like. And you trigger it the same as the athletic one-handers. Let's say I'm cooking them on the right side, same exact thing. You go right-handed dunk, and you see how much faster these are. By far the best dunk package in the game. I mean, that's why it's so expensive. But yeah, right hand or right side, right-handed dunk, Man, I love doing that dunk package. And you trigger these the same exact way you do the athletic one-handers. Let's say I want to go left. You just hold left on your left analog stick and you get that super fast dunk package. One cool thing about this dunk package too is let's say I want to go for a contact dunk, but like the center is not in the paint. It'll give me the athletic one-handers off one, as you guys can see right there. Or sorry, that's not the athletic one-handers off one. It gives me the straight arm tomahawks. Watch, I'll do it again. And you see, they give me the straight arm tomahawks even when I'm going for a dunk meter when no one's down there. That is why that is like my main, the only dunk pack that I really have on this build. But let me know if you guys want to see another video like this, but instead with contact dunks, with a dunk meter, and how to absolutely perfect it. Some dunk meter dunks is impossible to time. They'll make you miss no matter what, but I kind of found the sauce on how to make it a lot easier to time and how to get the better ones. Let me know if you guys want to see that, but that pretty much wraps it up. So that's it. Those are the best dunk packages. Those are the best animations. And that is how you want to abuse dunking on NBA 2K25. And that is how you want to just be the best slasher you can be how to get the dunk animations you want every time and just how to have the best ones equipped i hope you guys did enjoy this video and it helps you out if either of those are the case please do me a favor drop a like sub if you're new and i'm out